For the Dallas Cowboys, this was to be the year their infamous catchword, Doomsday, would more aptly describe the fortunes of the team rather than the manner in which they mistreated opponents. But even in a season of transition, the Cowboys are flourishing, and the prime reason is their quarterback, Roger Staubach, who is having his finest season. This week, at his home in Dallas, Roger the Dodger sat still long enough for me to aim a few questions in his direction. Roger, you're a leader, you're respected among your teammates, and you have a certain good guy kind of image, yet in that game against Washington, you and Pat Fisher got in a little bit of a scuffle. What happened? What happened up there, of course, Washington is a very tough rivalry. In fact, For years, uh, yeah. I'm sure, if, I don't know of any Washington player that, that likes me at all, and there's a couple that, uh, but really, there's a there's a very a tough animosity between, and uh, the the thing with Fisher that was a frustrating experience. We were winning the the game, and all of a sudden we're we're in overtime, and I threw an interception, a key interception, and uh, he went after me. Uh, probably theoretically it was a legal block, but he didn't have to go after me, and of course I dove into him. And afterwards, I felt bad because of the 15 yards, uh, mainly, and uh, not necessarily going after him because they go after me, and. Uh, it's, you know, it, it, you hate to say it, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out on the football field, and you can't be a nice guy on the football field. Roger, you have an all-American image. You're kind of a straight guy. Do you enjoy it, or is it a burden? I ordered a car after the Super Bowl that, that, that I won, and I ordered, a, instead of the sports car they were giving, a, a station wagon. Of course, I was tabbed a square, and that's is, is hung with me just because, you know, it was very... It's I'm very, very, very smart. Yeah, well, I had three children and a wife, and they couldn't all fit in the sports car, so I ordered a station wagon. I'm a square all of a sudden. I mentioned my religious belief, and then you're, you know, your religious fanatic, which is, you know, uh, everybody's living for today and now, and me and comforts and needs, and, and all of us are. But uh, there's more important things in life to me than that. Because you mentioned God, or you mentioned your, your family, of course, you're, you're not having fun, you're a square. You interviewed Joe Namath. I, everyone in the world compares me to Joe Namath, you know, as far as you know, the idea of off the field, he's single, bachelor swing, and I'm married and family, and you know, he's having all the fun, and you know, I enjoy sex as much as Joe Namath. <laughs> Only I do it with one girl, you know? There I mean, you that, go. But it's still fun, you know, it's yeah. the same thing, and uh, everybody likes, you know, like you're, you're married and have a family, it's not fun, and to me, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's my life, and I enjoy it, and the kids are, you know, it's, it's amazing, because we're in the entertainment business, you know, it's, it's the jet set thing. I, you know, I, I don't, do not enjoy the, the notoriety and the popularity of a professional football player. I, you know, I would rather live the, the quiet life uh, and still play football. Uh, you know, my family is, is important to me and um, I guess I'm a square in that respect.